Here comes the danger up in this club When we get started, man, we ain't gonna stop We gon' turn it out till it gets too hot Everybody sing, hey, yo Tell them turn it up till they can't no more Let's get this thing shaking like a disco ball This is your last one and a courtesy call Hey friends, your little Blimjay fan here, and due to some asking on, well actually a lot of asking, on the BMG forums, I'm going to do a t tutorial on how to get AI onto tracks. So yeah. So, first thing you want to do is, of course, this is a very FPS you know, intensive map, especially because this map is so old. So you may need a, a pretty strong computer to, well, actually load this. One thing is, the details on this map is pretty cool. It's just amazing. Now, you can probably see here, is that supposed to be there? Well, it's the only way to get the AI working. As you can see there, there's the AI path. Um... This is what it's supposed to look like. The reason why that's supposed to be there is because without it, you know, there isn't anywhere for the AI to go. And you might be asking, well, why not? The ground is, is clearly there. Well, you know, with without, if I go into the object thing, without a... a a floor, as I named it, Fleur, because why not? Without a Fleur, the the AI just won't work, and they will tell you, most likely, to create a new terrain. So that's why you need, you need the Fleur. To make one, you just go into, you know, File, Create Blank Terrain, you know, you name whatever you want, just put that, um... Depending on the size of your map, you can do which whatever. If if your map already has a terrain, then then like you're totally fine. Um, you know, just for convenience sake, if it already has has a terrain like that, then all you want to do is go into the deep the road editor and on drivability as you can see down here if the AI should use this road or not minus 1 equals no use 1 equals optimal and 0 0.5 equals dirt road and that's pretty much how how you know the AI will depend and tell if it's a road or not and and you know just pretty much make the road on the on the base on the plane and you should be all set and ready to go all you would need to do is just save the map and it's really pretty easy it's not hard at all if you already know how to how do you know make roads in the first place then that's perfect it's really just simple you know add the add the map you know all that stuff in the comment section, I will I will answer any questions. I will also be posting this in the FR17, um, you know, thread for anyone that has any questions that doesn't have a channel. My my account is Daniel W MJ Fan for life. You can see me there. Um, so. Yeah, I will definitely be doing this um, when the FR17 comes out. I'll I'll tell you that. So let's just 
get a quick a quick show of what the AI does now doing this now you if you want to you can make the floor invisible by clicking hidden down here you can make it hidden if you want most likely you want to but the but there will still be collisions you know the 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 cars can still collide into it so it's it's best to have it like somewhere down there actually also even when it's hidden it's still you know going to be ai so it's it's pretty simple okay let's let's go back into the game and show you how how the ai you know works with this layout back into the game we we have our good old dead bull car it's actually a pretty cool pretty cool homage to the red bull lol and let me just turn on trajectory and just put on random if we go under the map that's pretty much how it's working of course the speeds are really high this is you know the track itself you know what you know the the AI route is going on of course you can't see it up here but it's it definitely does work as you saw in my video And trajectory, you know, it works exactly like that. Make sure the road is as high as you can get it without, you know, being too high. You know, w without it being, well, too far above, above the actual track itself. So it doesn't actually go on top of the track and your cars can just... Lie on the it's a little confusing to to explain this, sorry. <laughs> my first BMG tutorial video if you have ever seen my channel before. But yeah, um hope this, you know, helped. And also, this is I use the external camera in the video, you know, to do that and then, and then this is the T V view. If I take away that this is the TV view. It's it's really cool though. This FR16 is really cool and this track is really cool. If it doesn't work for you, I it worked absolutely fine for me as soon as I downloaded it. So, like there's nothing wrong there. Also, I would put risk all the way up on the cars because well, obviously you want them to go as fast as they can. So yeah, um, hope this hope this you know video help help everyone a bit. See you later, I guess. Bye. Okay, car, just just go this way or this way. Okay, <laughs> okay, bye.